It's 6.03. This morning, I'm still working to get answers on what's taking so long and the investigation of a Lackawanna dentist still practicing despite accusations of mistreating a pregnant patient with epinephrine without her knowledge and against doctor's orders now five months after my initial investigation. I wanted to give you an opportunity to have your voice heard in this story. Um, no comment, sir. Dr. Richard Charlap, a dentist on South Park Avenue in Lackawanna, is accused of using a local anesthetic with epinephrine on a pregnant patient without her knowing, despite having a doctor's note that said no epinephrine. Charlap admits to using it anyway on a secret recording. What I did uh -huh. isn't allowed, but is it going to go do anything to the fetus? The answer is no. Despite that admission, Charlep is still seeing patients and still practicing. Days after my investigation aired in March, State Senator Patrick Gallivan called for the State Education Department to open an investigation into Charlep. But to what end? Five months later, the State Education Department has not released any information and refuses to because of confidentiality statutes. Last month, Gallivan told me he had a message for the governor. What is going on with this? When's it going to be done? So I asked the governor for some answers. Uh, are you satisfied with the length of the investigation? A and B, are you satisfied uh, that there are a number of people to investigate? Am I satisfied with the rate of investigation? No, but I can't make the change because my hands are tied and that is frustrating for me as well. The governor told me she doesn't have jurisdiction over any investigation into the licensing of health professionals like Dr. Charlap. That's handled by the state education department and the state legislature would have to change laws before the governor had any oversight. I think that all health professions should be regulated by the Department of Health that I oversee. Then I would have the accountability that you're asking for. The governor says her administration has no authority over the state education department if and until a change in law is made. State Ed is policing itself, which is something the governor said she wishes would change. Senator Gallivan spokesperson told me the senator would support shifting licensing from the state education department to the Department of Health. Meantime, I've once again reached out to Dr. Charlap, giving him a voice in this story, but he has not returned any of my calls. You can see my full investigation from March until today, right now on WKBW.com.